taking all the stuff out in front of this little shed that if you look at the historical pictures, there actually is a shed there. You see uh, right behind my trailer there is the foundation from 1765 Fort Home of Charles Kaiser. So that shed in the old, it's not even a picture, it's like a, it's a depiction uh, that was done. I didn't have pictures obviously in 1765. So the depiction has a building right there in front. I don't think that's the building, but I think that space was just continually built on top of since that time. I think there's always been something there. It'll be cool to metal detect around that area at some point, but you can't even think about getting a metal detector out when you have all this metal and debris. So right now we're gonna start pushing the mulch over the edge there that'll just be dirt in a year or two. And uh, once we get the trash out. So we're trying to focus on this area up here, which I'm gonna put in <clears throat> time lapse for you guys. You'll see what kind of progress we make today. So if you guys are liking watching us fix this this property up and uh, try to save this old house, definitely please subscribe. There's no uh, cost to do that. It just shows us you're interested and <clears throat> definitely makes it worth our time to video our efforts put them out there for you to watch a lot of people uh, seem to appreciate being able to follow along and we like doing it we very much enjoying what we're doing but uh definitely takes some time and effort to uh, put videos together and edit them and post them online so yeah if you subscribe just to let us know you're uh, interested and you like what we're doing we'll keep doing it and uh yeah there's no cost Shouldn't be any commercials because I'm not monetizing these videos. Uh, we're just saving them and we'll have a, a video log of the work. And uh, at some point, we'll remember how far we've come. So it's easy to look around and see how much you still have left to do and forget how far we've already come with this. So do a little time lapse, show you guys some more tree work, get this video up. piles more importantly even though we're gonna take down most of these trees you see here you just start with the small ones and the dead ones and you give yourself room for working with the bigger ones so and then we'll have this area all cleaned up so you can walk around and check out this historic home outbuildings. Wow, you could have not even walk through here this morning. This pile is significant. <laughs> this area we would have, whew, definitely will have cleared out. We're gonna clear right over the dark barn. Let's walk up here before it gets too dark. <clears throat> you can start to see the yard coming 
together. You guys have been looking from the other angle. You see this fence line. Which is probably probably a pretty old fence line given these old pines have grown in along the fence line but still got quite a few trees till there we're gonna take this makeshift building down because it just looks terrible but there's our house, it's starting to get a little dark, but you're starting to see what was their yard, the original homestead. Once the trees are clear, you can see Kennedy Peak. So they would have had a view of the highest point in this part of the Massanutten mountains and you would have seen straight down to the river amazing but that's a bonfire we're gonna have to light him from the middle and let it work its way out so the whole thing is not blazing at once Somebody's doing a little target practice. Beautiful thing about having land. Another pile of wood. So as we need wood, we'll be able to just go and grab these piles. dark barn. Today we make fire. She gone. She gone. It's an ore torch. Paddle torch. All right. So we don't have as much go-go juice for this uh, this other one. Let's take a peek. See how that one's doing. That one started. All right. Now we have two of the piles. Woo, that one's going pretty good. I don't have anything on there. Just leave it there. I'll dump it then. I mean, it'll catch. Yeah, I'm sure. With me on top of it. Here. You hold that. It's already going. Go-go juice, right? Three piles. So that's what we had from the other day. From our clearing. And then uh, 
we need to get rid of these piles. So as soon as the diesel burns down, then we'll have a uh, just a controlled fire. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> He's ready to burn stuff. <laughs> Might as well just stick it in there somewhere. That's money. Most of this is smaller stuff. We're keeping all the anything that could be a log for cabin fires. Once those piles are gone, we'll keep on clearing. ago you couldn't even see the dark barn now it looks like we got a yard all right well this fire was probably the middle of the road fire we just added these are a bunch of old timbers from the fence out by the road so this was about burned out nothing and uh, <clears throat> show you guys this was big mama and big mama is about gone amazing amazing that can be burnt down to almost nothing the other little guy over there. Yep. So, burned down nicely. I'm gonna jump on the tractor and uh, do a little cleanup on the tractor. Get the little electric chainsaw. That one's still burning pretty good. Those timbers are. Pretty solid. We could push just some marshmallows on that one. But getting to where we can see all our buildings now. Sooner or later we're gonna have to get up there. Push that big old leaf monster down. Just a branch that started holding stuff and then got more branches. But it's sitting right on the roof. Man, look at that buckle. I don't know if y'all can see that. That is a heck of a buckle. I know what that is though. That's where that framing changes. Right on that beam. So what that tells me is that this wall that we already know is sketchy need some uh, repairs pretty quick but that's sagging down and causing that buckle because that beam is moving up there we're gonna have to uh, secure this thing up soon that might 
might be before the house. All right. Thank you.